It's time for more epic pokey posts where we open cards like this. Let's go. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today we're thrilled it's PokePost. It's that time of the week again. We open up all the awesome mail that you've been sending us, the things that we've been buying, Facebook and eBay and all the, all the various other places. Um, remember that we've only got one week to go for you to win that Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box. So make sure you enter our giveaway. Click the uh, link below and uh, check that out. And uh, yeah, there's some amazing things this week. Oh my goodness. Let's just get straight into the PokePost. Gotta catch them all. Here is this week's Poke Post. There's a few th lovely things here. There's a there's another huge thing. I'm just gonna stick like here. You can't really see it. I don't wanna. I'm gonna put the whole thing on camera because it's got like um, details and stuff. And there's a whole bunch of other cards and and things down here. I'm gonna show you. So yes, um, lots of things to get through to today. At the end of the video, guys, we're going to be opening these two Unified Minds Pikachu booster packs and um, blisters. So I'm very excited to excited to open those and see if we can get to. So we can get something WTF epic from those. They're really awesome, those promos, I love them. And uh, yeah, so we can get into some of the single cards and some of the stuff I've opened earlier in the week. So I purchased a beautiful Skylar from Shining Fates. I just thought it was a really good price. Um, it was very well sent. It's a really clean example of this card. Um, aside from obviously the Charizard, this is probably... I mean, the alternatives VMAX and V, they may be hard, slightly harder to pull because of the, the gold, you know, the secret rares. This is part of the main set. You can see here, this is 72. But, yeah, I really I really like this guy. Um, let's put it, put it back there for now. Beautiful, beautiful card. And, yeah, some more cards from my lovely friend Camillo. So, he purchased, um, he's starting to work together a Team Rocket Japanese collection. So, this is the banned Grimer. So, as you can see here, um, the Grimer is um, looking for, very unfortunately looking up this uh, girl's skirt here. But in the English version, which you m may know from Team Rocket, the Grimer is looking directly at the camera. So, or at the image. So, they, they corrected that for the English release. So, this is this is like, I don't know, it, it, it values in price. It's like $10, $20, so however many. Depends on the condition. But yeah, there's a, there's a banned Grimer there. Um, some beautiful starters there. He, um Squirtle and Charmander, the Dark Charmander, the Dark Jolteon. Um, not sure why that full heals there. Maybe that was maybe that part. part I don't know. And um, we got uh, Ponyta, some Porygons. Yeah, he's putting together a uh, Team Rocket collection now. So I think the the Hollows are on their way from the United States. So some more beautiful um, Dark Charmeleon. You always gotta love love the Dark Charmeleon. That's always my favorite. One of my favorites from the set. And uh, yeah, some more nice Japanese Hollows for his collection put them over over there oh yes remember we've only got one week to go please make sure you click the link in the description go to our giveaway um the 2000 subscribers giveaway we're going to be giving away this beautiful champions path elite trainer box make sure you check that out there's only one week to go for that and uh yeah so i love one of our lovely discord members simon who is now also one of the patreons um please check out our patreon if you get a chance he sent me a bunch of these awesome um so i think this is might this might be a complete set of promos from the first wave Polty Geist, Galeria, Mr. Rhyme and Adene. So I need to pick up the uh Bunnelby I think as well. I think the, unless it's some okay I need to pick up the Bunnelby as well but this is a great little set of promos here and um, we're going to do a giveaway for these um, once the ETB one's done so keep an eye out for that. Just to, I'm going to try and avoid doing multiple giveaways at once because it might confuse people. Um yeah so make sure you join our Discord server. We're also going to be doing another giveaway when we get to 200 members. We just gave away um Team Ro um Detective Pikachu booster pack, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for those, Simon. And yeah, so we got here a box of stuff. So it's not a um, Destiny figure from Blizzard. Um, let's have a look. Blizzard Bungie. So, so just some nice cards that a lovely man has sent us. So big shout out to Sh to James from the Isle of Wight. Uh, I look forward to going back to Heroes Comics and Gaming very soon. So yeah, nice job lot of stuff, some like lead challenge promos. These are very popular, the loser means. Um, Professor Elms. Yeah. Put those in the sleeve at some point. Tag teams, like tag teams again, like not all of the sets are gonna get reprints, so well it doesn't doesn't look like I'm not sure if Unified Mind is gonna get a reprint, but yeah, some nice gold cards, Electra Power. Just yeah, got a good got a good nice little job lot on these. Um some nice uh, Ultra Beasts there, Nagan Adele, the Denes. Yeah, and just, I, I think the tag teams, because obviously Mitsuhiro Arita did all of the regular arts, you know, some popular Pokemon in them. I think tag teams are, you know, at a low price or a good investment. They've got a nice Cherish Ball. The alternate arts, um, Naganadel and Guzzlord there, you can see the one with like the red background there. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad today. And the Quick Ball. I'm just going to do something for a moment. I'm just going to check the lighting one minute. 
moments later. Okay, that seems to have improved things, just sorted out the light there. And another huge stack of cards from another lovely person. So, again, lots of people messaging me. Um, so this is a nice mixture. So these cards, this is a mixture of stuff from the newest sets. Um, Shiny Star V and uh, Match, not Matchless Fighters, not is it? Uh, Battle Styles, the Japanese Single Strike and Rapid Strike Master. We got there eventually, so some nice shinies. Just a selection of like random single cards as well. Shiny Buzz, well look at that same score, Shiny Star V. If you want to see me open the um, Shiny Star V um, booster box, click the uh, link above. I might, I might need to have to open more Shiny Star V. Let's beautiful Sender Squatch there. Ancient Mew as well, wow. I love I love this, because like, I don't actually remember half of these things. So like, just nice to flip them over and see see what we purchased. Or in Guru, ah, look at that Necrozma Thief full art. That's actually really beautiful. Necrozma Thief full art, Meow, Fimpoleon, uh, Rapid Strike. Oh, and the Karina. Take a closer look at this. So we're gonna obviously get hopefully most of these cards in our English battle styles. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I love the I just yeah, really good, really good, really good artwork from the Karina there. Very nice and just let's admire the Empoleons. There's lots of fans of Empoleon. Beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, shiny. Oh yeah, because it's Piplup from Gen 4. I think Piplup's from Gen 4. So yeah, we've got our Sinnoh remakes coming out soon. I attempted to record a React video for the live stream. On my Twitch channel. Oh, and the old, the alternate art rapid strike one. That's beautiful. Everyone loves that one. We had, we had one of those the other week. I think we pulled. Did we pull one? Yeah, we pulled one from one of our booster boxes. I think that was from the uh, rapid strike booster box. If you click the uh, link above, you can see the rapid strike booster box. I love Japanese on this channel. We've just got a whole bunch more Japanese cards in from our middleman buying service. Um, if you want to find out how to purchase cards directly from Japan, uh, go to my Patreon. That's our first video, and there'll be another video coming up soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next video yet. We'll just. Have to wait and see, Hammer, that one. Beautiful Blastoise base set, Executor, and this Wiggly Tub. I don't think this was £50, I think this is in a different different case or something. <laughs> oh god, there's more over here. Wow, okay, so let's try let's try and get through these. Just I think these are just like a bunch of jungle, like a, maybe a jung, jungle. Oh my god, guys, you know what this is? This is a complete jungle set. Yeah, 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 I bought a complete jungle set. So I think it's just confusing me because it's coming in a... <laughs> It's come in, a, in lots of different sleeves and stuff. So, lovely man sold me a complete jungle set. I might keep that together. Um, actually, no, I have almost a complete jungle set. So, I, I might I might just complete it and then sell the rest. Ugh. Yeah, Cypher. All the hollows are here. Snorlax. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice complete jungle set. And for some reason, this stuff's in a rigid holder. Don't, know, don't ask me why. Very much a mishmash of uh, packaging. <laughs> um... Electrode, Vaporeon, yeah, I mean, there's probably just more more of the jungle stuff in here. I'll try and, try and get through these. Venomoth, Nidoqueen, yeah. Jungle is a lot better. I, I much prefer jungle over fossil just because you've got the Eevee Illusions, you've got the Pikachu, you've got the Eevee, and the Legend and, um, and, well, Legendary Birds are in fossil, but I, I think I think the Eevee Illusions and the Snorlax, Snorlax is amazing as well. Yeah, there we go. There's Jolteon, there's, Va there's Flareon, very, very popular um, jungle hollows there. Fable, Vile Plume, Wiggly Tough, and Vaporeon. Yeah, good guess. <laughs> well, probably obvious because I think um, Wiggly Wiggly Tough is next to Vaporeon in the uh, in the alphabet thingy. So, thank you so much for that lovely man. Um, put all these cards over here. There's actually a lot of cards. I'm going to move this slightly over here just so I've got a bit more space for my arms. There we go. So next up, um, lovely Lindy once again. Lindy makes art. Make sure you check her out on Etsy. Um, I hope you'll like them. So lovely Lindsay, she made me some more custom cards. She also makes all these awesome like custom Pokemon stickers. Let's have a another look at these. I do kind of miss my old background because I could put stickers on them. I'd rather not put stickers on my uh, on my display cases, but I think the old background was getting. I'd, I'd used it for a good like two years or something. Uh, okay, there we go. We got we got in there. We got in there. Right. Oh yeah, Lindy's also one of our patrons as well. Thank you so much for for supporting us, Lindy. So yeah, look at the look at the awesome like Dragonite sticker. This is like ah, oh, keep on rolling. That's 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 so cute. Little Skitty one, side up, just relax, and a nice Sinisty one. Spill the tea. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so talented. Right. So thank you so much for those. But what we did get was more custom Stevens Professor research cards. So she even has her own special sleeves and. Um, that are custom sleeves from Dragon Shield. They're actually like proper Dragon Shields that you could probably even play like practice games with them as well if you want to. But uh, there you go. There's the details. And yeah, more Professor Stevens research. And um, these are for our Charizard um, tier patrons. Um, 
Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, so I sent someone a Professor Stevens research the other day that wasn't a first edition one, so the first 10 people who <laughs> sign up to um, our Charizard tier Patreon will get the um, first edition stamp on their on their signed cards, so I'm going to put this to the side, Simon, and I'll send you a, a first edition one, because I've completely forgot that I'd ordered the, <laughs> ordered the first edition one. So yeah, the first 10 will be first edition, and then the um, any other that after that will be unlimited, so if you want to learn how to buy custom Pokemon... Um, buy Pokemon cards from Japan um, and all that on all those various other good things you know market stuff in depth you know questions all, all sorts of fun things and um, please check out my patreon patreon place get games thank you so much for those Lindy and uh, yeah we also do sign Pikachu at the five dollars the five pound tier which is the um, which is the one that you get for just um, it gets all the content and the bonus videos so you still get a signed Pikachu like a random Pikachu card right enough rambling let's get on with it so we finally got some mail to open let's see what's inside here uh, uh, uh. is there another top loader in there there is another top loader in there this is why I do most of my mail opening off camera now because it's a <laughs> right I'll try to get these out so we got here a beautiful CP6 Raichu nice Meganium reverse holder there I think this was Emma shout out to Emma for these um, Oh, gold soul silver meganium another meganium but this is the uh, hollow one with not without the reverse stamp and a nice cp6 evolutions reprint nine tails so thank you very much for those cards emma those over there what's in this big one it feels very chunky okay this looks like this is from magic madhouse shout out to magic madhouse they are my my go-to people whenever i'm at mcm comic con looking for single cards or whenever i'm at a pokemon tournament and in this case, also, when when sometimes when new sets come out, they're always my go-to people for single cards. I don't really deal with single cards, so they, um, they're they awesome people. So let's see if we can get into here. I think these are just a bunch of playable stuff. I don't think there's much, like, gradable stuff in here, but we'll have a have a look. I don't, I don't think I needed to buy all these Rotoms. <laughs> I've gone through so many Rotoms already, so I think I just went on a crazy little spending spree. I think the Rotoms were, like, 10 pence each or something. I just thought I'd pick, pick some Rotoms up. God damn it, this packaging is horrible. Right, there we go. Remember, guys, if you're selling cards, try and use team bags if you can. Um, right. So, yeah, it's just Rotoms, Celebes. I thought the Celebes were cool anyway, because Celebes popular. And some mana fees, so we can use the uh, use the sea search ability. Um, oh, yeah, this is a team bag. I do apologise, Magic Madhouse. I um, was just very bad opening that first one. Is this more Rotoms? I think so. Let's have a look. More Rotoms. Rusted Sword. Okay, so and some reverse holo cards. I'm going to be extra careful with these. So some of these might end up being graded. Celebes, Manaphys, or oh, beautiful, because they're popular Pokemon anyway. And um, yeah, the reverse holo Eevees. Oh, oh, I'm right at the back as well. There's some shiny Grookies. Let's go. I think these were only about £10 at the time. Um, they might be dropping once more supply comes out, but I thought... You know, if you see, if you see over, I'll put them in the background. Actually, there's um, there's our there's our starter from the Galar region. Grookey was our starter, so I thought you know, let's let's pick up let's pick up some shiny Grookeys. Why not? I might add one to my collection as well. Absolutely beautiful. I love 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 the artwork on the Grookeys. So sleeve those up before something bad happens to them. Thank you again, Magic Madhouse. Check them out if you get a chance. Lovely people. I wish more businesses included like business card or flyers, just in case. Like when I'm opening stuff on camera, I can just like show the business card off. It's a bit easier than saying things like i'll go to this place because sometimes people are a bit lazy right so we've got two more things to show you so inside here guys is a huge package from norway from the lovely naz from norway so i went to norway pokecon the other day the other day a few years ago got to meet mitsuhiro rita i got to play against Tord reckler it was an amazing weekend so so here is his um flyer slash business card pokemon pokey for days i think they've got a a thing in Oslo now, a shop in Oslo. Um, I want, I'm looking forward to checking it out. I think they're even starting like League Cup tournaments and stuff soon. So I'm very excited for that. He's also one of the biggest collectors in Europe as well. He's got so many vintage booster boxes. Oh, this is so cool. So he actually sent me a, a bag. So I think this was designed by Harada. Um, yep, you can see Harada there, who does a whole bunch of the um, Pokemon artworks as well. So see, let's see. Oh, there's something in the bag. I'm just going to see if I can get figure out what's in the bag. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness! So I don't, I don't think I remember paying for this. This is an original sketch by Pokemon for Days Goodie Bag Exclusive, forty from a hundred from Harada. That's awesome! Thank you so much, Naz. That's that's actually that's actually really cool. So I put Greeky safely back there. So that's that's actually really awesome. And uh, nice little, yeah. So another nice little poster thingy there. 
Um, definitely caught as many as we could. <laughs> that's that's pretty, that's really cool. So thank you so much for that, Naz. Um, I really like that canvas bag as well. That's super awesome. But um, the reason we we did this, we got a Pokemon for Days um, mystery box, guys. First edition of their new mystery box because it's you know in the united states they have these mystery boxes you see in target walmart a lot of the time they're quite bad so i thought you know i'll, I'll, I'll go give this give 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 my lovely friend a chance you know check out his mystery box so we're going to be opening this on a channel soon and as you can see the one in 20 chance for vintage booze pack obviously i'm not expecting much but yeah i think if you go to the pokey for days web pokemon for days website i think they might still have some of the non-first edition ones in so yeah, make sure you um make sure you check check um check them out. So we're gonna do that in a video soon. I completely forgot this was coming. I think it's cost me about eighty to hundred dollars. So um there's six booster packs, mystery aunts, holographic cards. So I'm just excited to get in there and see and see what's inside there. But that's not the star of the show. The star of the show, guys, is this lovely thing. Just take a look at this. Unfortunately, this is not my card, but this is your eyes are not deceiving you. That is a Mew signed by the OG Pokemon God art, the God of the Pokemon world, the artist, the OG artist Ken Sugimori. So, take a close up there. You can see the art thing. See the Pikachu. I love that he just like left a gap for the energy. He's just you know not covered up the energy symbol. That's really cute. And uh, yeah, so this was, is obviously authenticated by PSA. You can see the Mew Hollow Hol EX Hol Holland Phantom Forces. Ken Sugimori, number, so the number, the set number, and it's been authenticated. So, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. For those that don't know, Ken Sugimori does not do any autographs anymore. He does not sign at events anymore. It's very, very hard to get hold of these. Um, the, my lovely friend, so shout out to Stefan's Classroom. Um, if you, I'll try, I'll, I'll try to remember to clear, leave a link below. Stefan's Classroom, lovely YouTuber, one of my friends. Um, he does like Pokemon TCG content, math content. It's really, I do, I do enjoy a lot of his videos and. Um, yeah, so he had this from when he, I think this was Worlds and, when when was this, 2006, this probably would have been Worlds in 2006 or 2007, he got this signed when Ken Sugimori was still going to events and stuff, and fun fact, if you're looking for a signature, um, to buy a signature of Ken Sugimori, it doesn't matter what Pokemon it's on, it doesn't matter whether it's his original base set Blastoise, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's his original, whatever he's, whatever he's signing, it really does not matter, um, his signature commands are absolutely crazy, like premium, just because of who he is and how, and you know him not signing anymore. So, this Mew honestly is probably north of five thousand dollars. I wouldn't know the exact price because obviously they don't they don't sell many of the, these don't sell that often. But yeah, very hard to get hold of this. Um, very hard to you know get this or even authenticated. A whole bunch of the time, these signatures um, from PSA get rejected just because of like there's a lot of fakes out there. There's a lot of you know, bad, bad examples and stuff, so I'm just very happy that this passed through PSA on the first attempt for my friend, for Stefan's classroom, for Stefan Erickson, and, uh, yeah, very, very happy. I wish it was my card, but, um, <laughs> I, I wish it was my card, but unfortunately, um, I, I was not around in 2007, and I got nothing, I was not able to get anything signed by Ken Zugamori, so he might have signed stuff more recently, but since, since I've been involved in the hobby since 2016, he's definitely not signed anything as far as I know, so, yeah, very happy of that. That'll be safely stored, not at my location. Do not attempt to find this at my house. Um, I will be putting it in a bank vault until, until I'm ready to um, ready to pass it on to him. So, yes, that's the main bunch of the Pokey Post. We're now going to open the two Unified Minds Pikachu booster packs. Wow, that was an absolutely stack, stack post. I was not expecting to get the, the um, signed Harada print as well. That's really cool. Um, very famous Japanese artist. Does a lot of the... I'm gonna if I can remember I'll put an example of some of the um some of the cards she's done recently. I think she's done a few Gyaradoses, a few other a few other bits. There's the Empoleon coin. Um here's the PG promo. This is slightly underrated, I think. Um you, still, you can still find these Unified Minds blisters around quite well. And I just really love the artwork on this one. This is the um Sun and Moon 206, so towards the end of the Sun and Moon era, obviously. And it's it's in decent condition as well, so definitely get a definitely get a couple of definitely get a couple of these grades. I might have a few more blisters to open for you lovely people soon, but yeah, um, it's all about the uh, you find mine's booster pack. Let's see if we can pull that rainbow rare Mew Mew to GX. I will also accept a uh, I don't even remember half the time what's in this set. Like maybe maybe a gold reset stand, but I honestly don't know. It's all about. I think Unified Minds, aside from the Mew and Mewtwo, it has very little identity. Like it's very hard to like know. Like, oh, what do I want from Unified Minds? Maybe a Raymond Keldio. Rain uh, the alternate arts um, 
executor, a lowland executor of Rowlet. That's really cute. So yeah, that's a, that's a, I guess that's a card we want as well. Flamion, Tartuga, and a Crossle. Is that a Kamoya? Yep, yeah, you can see straight away. You can always recognise the artist style. That is definitely a beautiful Kamoya card there. Right, one more blister. Let's see if we can uh, finish with a WTF Epic pull. Remember, guys, if you're watching this, please remember to enter the 2,000 subscribers giveaway. Click the link in the description. And, uh, yeah, keep supporting the channel. I can't believe we're already, like, nearly at 2,150. Like, it's just going crazy, crazy the past couple of months. So there's another Codes. There's another Pikachu. Absolutely beautiful. I just love the holo pattern as well and contrast and the flowers and stuff. That's just a very classic, beautiful... Pikachu artwork there. Yeah, last pack of Unified Minds. Let's see if we can finish the WTF Epic Pool. Oh, this one opened very easy. That's either a good sign or a bad sign. <laughs> right. The packs, sometimes when you open the packs, they've got like really tight seals. Sometimes they've got a bit more air in them. They open a bit easier. The Dene, Petal Blizzard, Lorantis, Giant Bomb, Drebble, Padoof, Muna. Look at that uh, little Pikachu and Eevee sleeping in the background there. That's so cute. Oh, no PGG, let's go. Okay, reverse holo PGG I'd love. Hone Edge and a Salazzle. So nothing epic there. But honestly, it's all about this sign, Ken Sugimori and Mew. Unfortunately, this is not mine, but I just thought I'd show it off in Pokey Post. Remember to go and check out Stefan's classroom on YouTube. Yes, and please leave a comment below. What was your favourite bit of Pokey Post this week? Um, are you excited for me to open the mystery box? Uh, you know, are you... Would you like to get hold of one of these exclusive Patreon signed Professor Stevens Research First 10, get the first edition? I'd love to know your thoughts. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. Keep supporting us. And yes, thank you so much, Pokemon fans. I'll see you soon. Got to catch them all. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider checking out our Patreon. These people did here, and they are part of the Place Get Games Patreon crew. They've got awesome rewards behind the scenes content, extra videos and all sorts of other stuff. So please check out the Patreon, click link in the description and I will see you very soon Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.